Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel and please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there if you haven't been there already. And today I'm going to talk about how you can put rhinestone in the neck and arms of a kurta. So this salwar kurta actually I made it and then I put trim and I have done the video on that and I have decided to put some rhinestones so you can put either same color or you can put contrasting color so I'm going to show you how you can put rhinestone as you see this is pretty much I eyeball it I didn't measure it so about an inch gap I given so let me show you in the other side This is where I'm going to create and show you how you can do it. So I'm using this guitar dimensional fabric pen. This is by Tulip and this is multi color. It has all different color mix. You can get this kind of fabric pen. These are usually comes for decorating t-shirts at your local craft store. And I'm using this rhinestone and they came in a huge box i think it was like ten dollars box and then had all different colors they actually they used to be in my local craft store they used to be cheap seven dollars now i think um, they raised the price now make they made it about ten eleven dollars so i'm kind of paying a little extra now now what you do is as I show you this is not only paint is paint as glue so you use it as a glue so you put it start from the top and this one I'm not using my tool to push it down because when you have a stone or a bead big size you have to hold it by your hand you cannot use a tool because it just won't work so you have to do a little bit pressing but not too much you press enough so it gets you can feel it it gets stuck with the glue but initially it won't be stuck it needs to dry so I'm giving about an inch gap and eyeballing it but you can mark it if you feel better that way So as you drop the rhinestone, you just set it on top of the glue. Now over here you, you see since this is satin fabric, it's very difficult to make it smooth. And in the neck, it kind of, this neck design is kind of mm. pleated, bunched up. So it's almost like someone had a question how to put rhinestone on a gathered velvet. This is pretty much like that. This is just satin. So for a gathered velvet you have to pull it out, stretch it out and pin it and then you put rhinestone. But this one, the neck I have kind of done a little bit like pleats. So I'm just doing on top of it. Now remember as long as you have this uh, glittery paint and the rhinestone once it dries it will really look good and the distance you don't have to be really exactly one inch perfect you can just eyeball it and do it. You can do just the front or the front and the back this one. I have done the front and just to show you I'm doing the back but for the back I will just do the neck the rest of the body is just the front so like this you will be just dropping this rhinestone and you work each area one by one so you first work either the front or the back of the neck 
and then you work the arms after the neck dries and then you work the same way the front or the back of the arms and when it dries then you go to the other side but wait give it like two hours and check it by touching to make sure it's completely dry now for washing I wouldn't throw it in the washer or dryer I will just hand wash it and hang it to dry and the rhinestone may come out if you put it in washer and dryer depend it all depends on how much glue you put in so since I'm not putting too much glue and you know when you have this kind of satin or silk fabric either a sari, dupatta or salwar kurta you really don't want to throw it in your washer and dryer that's not your old jeans it's something delicate you need to wash it by hand and hang it so we are done for the neck now I have just done simple work just the rhinestone glued now you can if you choose you can put little sequins all around it or beads all around it but for now I'm just doing rhinestone I might add few things later on which I'll do the video to show you and just the way I did the neck exactly the same way I will be doing this side of the arm then when it dries the other side and I will repeat the same process for the other arm now for the next video I will be working either on the body or the bottom I haven't decided on the design yet so once I decide on the design I will finish half of it and I'll show you through whatever I can like half of it just to show you how to do it Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share the video. So I will see you with the next episode of this. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a great day.